Hey, how's it going everybody? Nick or Pro here with another video here on the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the crashing issues in Modern Warfare 2, and I'm going to be giving you guys some possible solutions to fix this, or to be completely and utterly honest with you, to just make the amount of crashes go down. There's no finite fix to just not crash, but I can give you guys some quick tips on doing the best that you possibly can to make sure your Modern Warfare 2 does not crash. Now before we do hop in, if this video helps you out in any way, then don't forget to hit the like button, and if you enjoy my content enough for more Call of Duty news, tips, and information, then please consider subscribing to the channel and joining the team, it would mean a ton. I'm on my way to 10,000 subscribers, and I'm trying to upload on a daily basis, and the channel has been doing very, very well for the past couple of weeks. Anyways, moving into today's discussion, Modern Warfare 2 is a bit of an unstable game to say the least. You can't even play the game really most of the time. You, you can get an idea of how the game is, but you're not going to go a single play session without some sort of crash. PlayStation's having the problem, Xbox is having the problem, PC's having the problem too. So let's start talking about some of the ways that you can mitigate this. It's been a huge mess. But before we hop in, I just wanted to say that Infinity Ward has tweeted saying, thank you for your patience. We'll be deploying a mitigation for party related crashes tomorrow morning, PDT update to follow so in a few hours after this video is actually up infinity ward will release their first patch trying to mitigate these issues i don't know if it's going to fix all of the crashes in the game so hopefully this will help you out even after that patch is released alrighty so this is for all platforms a majority of this so let's just start talking about some of the stuff so you can do to make the game crash less under interface you can go to the bottom of the list and there is an option called parallax effects if you turn that off, I can't guarantee it, but there has been like a placebo. People are saying that this is making it not crash their game as much, so this might help you with the UI related crashes. A lot of the tips that I'm gonna give for you console guys is going to be related to the UI. The UI is a bit of a mess. Not only is it very hard to actually look around and figure out what's going on and access parts of the menu, but there's also really big problems in terms of the UI just straight up crashing the game. So what things have I noticed particularly that'll help you with the UI? First of all, when you are searching for a game with a party or if you're searching for a game on your own, do not customize your classes. Try to keep your class customization to just the main menu while you're not queuing for a game. That's where you'll have the best success and least crashes going in. Another huge tip is to not use the firing range at all while queuing as well, which kind of goes into the whole UI thing. Just basically, when you are queuing for a game, don't mess with the UI at all. Just let the game do its thing. You might have some hitches while loading into a map, but that is what I've noticed to be the best method for success. Another huge thing for crashing in-game, like actually playing the game in a match, do not try to change your lethal, your tactical, or anything on your class while you are inside of a kill cam. For some reason, I've noticed that while watching a kill cam or while in a kill cam, like, let's say I die and I'm like, screw this, these guys are really annoying, they're sitting in corners, I want to run a drill charge. Well, I'm going to swap from my Semtex to a drill charge, and unfortunately, that has crashed my game time and time again. I've had some close calls. But most of the time, that's actually what's leading to me crashing inside of physical games. So switching any type of loadout while you are in a kill cam seems to be a huge issue on PC at least. And I'm sure that's also something that translates to consoles. A bit of a mitigation for the party problem until that patch comes out. Right now, I would recommend the max size of a party being three players. Anything more than that seems to crash the game. On top of that, I can't really comment if crossplay has anything to do with it, like between Steam and Battle.net and PlayStation and Xbox, but it just seems to be across the board crashing when queuing for games. So when you are queuing for a game, once again, in a party with those three people, just make sure nobody's doing anything in the UI before you hit search. Now, this last one is a rumor that I've heard. You guys can test it out yourself and let me know in the comments and kind of share a little bit of the knowledge here. Apparently, your game is more likely to crash if you have weapon attachments tuned and you're in a game using a weapon that is tuned. I'm not sure about this one. Let me know if you guys crash specifically with tuned weapons. But for the most part, the game's fresh and it just came out, so I would recommend just grinding out your weapons anyways and not really messing with me weapon tuning yet. Warzone 2 is just right around the corner, so you definitely want to max out your weapons. So for the most part, max out a weapon, don't mess with the weapon tuning and move on to the next one, and just unlock as many weapon platforms as you possibly can before Warzone 2 comes out, so that I'd recommend for the grind. 
Another quick piece of advice that I have for you guys as well is that Spec Ops actually seems to run very well. So if you haven't touched Spec Ops yet, you only need to play with one other player, which will mitigate the actual crashes significantly. It's a little bit baby easy, but it's a ton of fun and it does have its moments. So I do recommend playing Spec Ops if you want to try to minimize some crashes. Plus, you get a little bit of a bonus. You do get to see parts of the new Warzone map, Almazra, that's dropping in two weeks. Just like Modern Warfare 2019 Spec Ops, where you played it in Verdansk, you'll also get to play the brand new Spec Ops mode in Almazra, and it's significantly better than Modern Warfare 2019's multiplayer, or sorry, Spec Ops experience. It's just way, way better. All right, talking about some PC-related mitigation techniques for some of the crashes and this is just some general knowledge first of all video memory scale if you have a graphics card with a ton of vram then you probably don't have a bunch of uh, issues with this but if you have a little bit of less vram and your pc is taking up a bit of that change around your video memory scale especially if your game is hitching this will just help with crashes overall even after a bunch of patches come out I have mine on 90 because I have a 3080 with a ton of VRAM, but if you have a little bit of less, mess around with this, put it down by 10, put it down by 5%, you could do anywhere between like 70 to 90%, it doesn't let you use 100 obviously because Windows has to use a little bit of that, so mess around with your video memory scale. Another big tip I can give you guys is that if you're still experiencing hitches, you're experiencing some sort of flashing on the screen or something doesn't feel right, you can always go back to the graphics menu and actually recompile your shaders this is a big one what you got to do is completely restart your game once you hit that button and when you load back in just sit in the menu and let it do the entire shader compilation all over again last but not least pc players this is something that i had to last resort to if nothing is working if you are having significant crashing issues to the points where you want to refund the game this is going to be something that is going to help you astronomically Basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download two tools. You're going to want to download Display Driver Uninstaller, which I would look up tutorials for that. Do not take my word on how to run that. Do it based on your own rig and what the tutorials say. You get Display Driver Uninstaller, and then you get NVIDIA Game Ready Driver version 522.25, and I'll link both of these in the description down below. What you're going to do is you're going to boot Windows into safe mode, with both of these installed, you are going to launch Display Driver Uninstaller, uninstall all of your NVIDIA drivers, and sorry, this is for just NVIDIA owners, I'm sorry, I, I really don't know anything about the AMD cards, I should have specified that a little bit earlier, but what you're going to want to do is go ahead and run Display Driver Uninstaller, it'll uninstall fresh install, it goes through registry, this is great to run every now and then because you are essentially downgrading your drivers from whatever you're at, so if you're at the most recent NVIDIA driver, you're going to crash a crap ton compared to this driver. So once DDU is done running, it's going to restart your PC and you're going to be back into normal mode, then you can install the NVIDIA drivers, you can restart your PC again when you're done installing them and play the game like normally all over again, you'll have to recompile your shaders again, but once you're done with that, the game will crash significantly less, there's a bunch of issues with the newer drivers so this driver specifically 522.25 seems to be a very good driver to be running currently anyways guys with that being said let me know in the comments down below if this helps you hopefully the patch that comes out soon to mitigate the party issues gets fixed but unfortunately there'll probably be some crashes going into the first week of the launch so it's better to be prepared and safe rather than sorry with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one